Hello, thank you for your purchase of the All Data Diagnostic Scan Tool. You have just purchased the only scan tool on the market with true all data integration. Your scan tool is made for the automotive professional. It has advanced capabilities such as bidirectional control, active tests, and resets. This short video will give you a rundown of the basic setup and the capabilities of the tool. First, when you get to the home screen, you will see the option to go into any of your products. You also have access to an area for feedback and an area for support. The first area we will show you is how you go into your products. You can go into your repair product, community, and any other product you have purchased. One thing that is unique to our scan tool is our data manager feature. In the data manager, you will find a list of any vehicle you have scanned, recorded live data, and your pre-scans and post-scans. This is basically the history of your tool and is great if you need to find that pre-scan from the last time the vehicle was at your shop. To exit this, hit close in the top right corner. Now that we're back at the home screen, let's go into your repair product. Once you enter that product, you will find every vehicle you have looked up information for or scanned in the past. It also gives you the ability to scan a VIN barcode. After you choose the vehicle, your repair product will work the same as it does on a computer. To go back to the home screen, hit the X in the top right corner. Next, let's look at the product feedback form. This form allows you to provide feedback on the tool. Please fill in this form anytime you have a problem. Finally, if you hit the menu in the top right corner, you can see your account profile and get options for support in this area. So now that we've looked at the home screen, let's get into the scanner portion of your tool. Select Diagnostics and you come to the screen where you choose the way to connect to a vehicle. If you haven't paired your device yet, you will need to do this before you proceed to the next section. Please visit the Diagnostic Support page at www.alldata.com or scan the QR code below. This will take you to a guide to pair your device. So, here is a few quick details that you may want to note on this screen. First, you have the option to do a manual scan or a quick scan. A manual scan allows you to manually enter the VIN via a keyboard or the barcode scanner. You can also download the VIN from the vehicle by hitting the magnifying glass. The quick scan option connects to the vehicle to download the VIN automatically, then goes into a vehicle-wide pre-scan. If the vehicle does not return the VIN, it changes to a manual scan. Next, in the top right corner, we have the settings option. In the settings screen, you can see your current software version. You have the option to choose a default connection device. You can set up your tool to automatically email pre and post scans. You can choose the option for SAE or metric units. There is also an option for what module a vehicle wide scan connects to when finished. Finally, you have the auto auth login section. This is if you need to work on 2018 and up FCA vehicles and have a subscription to auto auth. Keep in mind, there is some setup with auto auth that needs to be done. Now that we've seen those options, let's go ahead and connect to a vehicle. Choose your connection, and you will move to the screen where you choose the make of the vehicle you are connecting to. Once that selection is made, it will move to the VIN entry screen. If you chose the option for quick scan, this will happen automatically. After VIN entry, the connection process will start. Once connected, it will prompt you to choose the module you want to enter. For this demo, we will go into the enhanced powertrain for the initial connection. With the manual scan, you will get the option to scan the module you chose, do a vehicle-wide scan, or enter the module without scanning for DTCs. If you chose the quick scan, you still choose the module you want to connect to, but it immediately goes into a system-wide scan. This is a great option if you want to pre-scan every vehicle. Once you are fully connected to a module, you now have multiple options. Since we did a scan, let's look at the codes. First, you can click into the code to see freeze-frame data if available. One of the great things about all data integration is you can click where it says repair article and you get the OEM repair information for that specific code. No other scanner on the market gives you access that quickly. Once you are in the article, you have access to the rest of the OEM information. You can also reach that information by clicking the repair button on the previous screen. Next, let's look at different areas that you can access. On the right hand side of the screen, you will see DTCs, monitors, live data, Sys test, actuators, and resets. You may notice that monitors are grayed out. If you need to see the monitors, you will need to either change your module to generic powertrain or disconnect and reconnect using generic OBD2. Let's start by looking at live data. 
You can see, once you click into Live Data, you get a number of available PIDs. To look at the PIDs, you simply turn them on by moving the slider. Once you have PIDs selected, you have multiple options to view the PIDs by. The first option is Meter View. Next, here's Grid View. Finally, the third option is Graph View. On each view you have the ability to record. When recording, you can mark times that you want to review later. This makes it easy to mark a position that the issue with the vehicle started happening. We've all had those vehicles that only act up during certain conditions. To review your recordings, hit the recording button in the top right corner. This will take you to any recording you've ever made on this vehicle. It's great to pull in a vehicle a year later and be able to rewatch an issue. When watching a recording, you can zoom in or out, jump to markers, and pause. Next, let's look at the system test area. In this area, you will find the specialty tests that the manufacturer allows. Things like EVAP bay tests, diesel regents, and cylinder balance tests will be found here. Remember, this is what is given to us by the manufacturer, so the same tests will not be available on each vehicle. Sometimes specialty tests can also be found in your actuations tab. That brings us to the actuations tab. In this section, you will find your bidirectional controls and the occasional system test. One thing to notate on here is you can choose live data to view while you actuate. Make your selections for live data in the middle column. That brings us to our final section, which is resets. In the reset section, you will find shortcuts to many common functions such as brake resets, tire pressure monitoring resets, and steering adaptations. Once again, this section is limited by the manufacturer, so you won't have the same available resets on each vehicle. When you choose a reset, the tool will automatically connect to the correct module and bring you to the test. Now that you understand what each area of the tool does, there are two more items that should be pointed out. First, to change modules, you want to go to the bottom left of the tool and hit Change. This will bring up the module list and allow you to move to the next module. Finally, when you are done with the tool, a good practice should be to always disconnect from the vehicle. You do that at the bottom right where it says Connect. This will bring up a menu and allow you to kill the connection between the car and the tool. This should be done every time. Keep in mind, when the tool is connected, it is another module that has come online and shutting down incorrectly could cause communication faults. Thank you for your time. If you need more help, please reach out to 1-800-859-3282 and choose option 1 for current subscribers and option 2 to reach the help department. Enjoy your scanner and thank you for your purchase.